Okay, so we're doing the warped axe, and then we're also we also rolled a magic affinity. Because again, we uh whenever there can be an affinity, we roll it. Just for like a little added challenge. So we start hero type B. I already made a face yesterday because I I knew this was coming. This is perfect, dude. This is like like an axe wielding body, right? This fine specimen. Age mature? No. Oh no, I did I did pick mature. I remember now. Stone sword key. I do have to look at the Ash of War too, but um. I think the main thing we're going to do is get probably most of the way through the game. I mean, we'll do what we can today. Maybe do a little farming. Maybe, probably not. I, I, don't, I don't like to do farming on stream. I just think it's boring. I'd rather do it off, especially if I'm going to try and get two of these things. If we do get two of them, then we can just do the NG plus friend as normal. If not, then I'll probably just, again, farm in NG plus off stream. Like, I just want to limit the farming, you know? On stream, anyway. I don't care if I have to, like, farm 10 hours off stream, but... Oh, so, this is another thing, too. If, like, this is... I don't think this is going to be a bad farming run. But like on weapons where there are bad farming runs, what I'll do is I'll just pause the run and we'll start another run. And then I'll just farm it off stream and it's going to be weird, but like. So like, let's say this was a bad farming run, right? If I get to the point where I have to farm the weapon, like if we get to the end of NG and I still don't have the weapon and I'm still farming it, I'll pause this run and then I'll do all the farming off stream. And then we'll start another run on stream while I farm it off stream, and then once I get it, we'll go back to the, the this run and pause the other run. It, it's a little confusing, but like I, I really can't stress how much I don't want to farm on stream. If I have to do it to fill like 15 minutes, then I'll do it, but if I can avoid it, I will. But it's a standard upgrade path other than the, the magic, so just stone or uh, smithing stones. So at least that's easy. Oh, no torrent. I don't have torrent yet. I'm assuming that the moveset is going to be, like, the exact same thing as the flail, too, and the exact same thing as this axe. Which, are they have the same moveset. Oh, you know what I never did? I, on the, uh, the flail run, like, so there's apparently a thing where if you use flails with Fia's dress, I think it's a deathbed dress is what it's called, you actually hit yourself in the head for, like, a tiny bit of damage. That's what I, I meant to test that, and then I just never picked up the dress. I completely forgot. I don't know why it's a thing. But, uh, apparently it is. Well, I don't, I, I don't know. I saw, like, two people do it on Reddit. Only in the dress, though, from what I saw. I mean, it's not like they tried every outfit, but... They specifically wore the dress, two people, and both hit themselves for like, it's it's like a tiny bit of damage. It's like two damage or something. No, I just thought that was interesting. Have you heard of the day, sir? But you, I can put turning to aid you. You need to the foot. Oh. Then it summon R, I bequeath. He that will sound torrent, treat him. 
We need to get this whetstone. And again, I need to figure out what the Ash War is for the warp dax, and I need to get it. Because that's part of the challenge, too. You gotta use the default Ash of War. Like, sometimes... Like, I, I remember in the case of the Godskin Peeler, I couldn't get it until Fair Missoula. So, like, you know, if, if that's the case, then I think that's okay. But... At least in NG+, you need to use the default Ash of War as part of this challenge. Because, like, you could literally just, like, get the best Ashes of War. You know, whatever Ash of War you want on any weapon, and then just kind of... I think defeats the purpose because then you kind of like especially if it's a really like strong one to me it kind of defeats the purpose of maybe not defeats the purpose but it like i don't know i don't know how to say it it like uh i don't know it makes it not as special it sounds corny but it's like imagine if i put hor like i know horfrost stomp isn't good anymore where it's it's like severely nerfed, but like, imagine I was doing this and I just put Horfrost Stomp on every weapon I could. It's like, what's the point of even using the weapon? And I can just put Horfrost Stomp on everything. That's kind of what I mean. So I try to keep the Ashes of War uh, as their defaults. I did pick that up, right? The, uh, thing? Whetstone? Okay. Now, stop. Please. I cannot believe I always missed that smithing stone. I had no idea it was there until like the last run we did. Please stop. I can't even hit this guy. Oh my god. Just. Why am I not getting a stagger? Oh, this is bad. You serious? Oh, this is bad. Get a stagger. No! I'm so dead. Hit the wall or something. I missed so many hits. God, I hate this fight. I should probably practice this. I've never even bothered to. Like, I, I'm just guessing on his moveset. I have no idea what he's actually doing half the time. And he delays the attacks for so long, like, every enemy in this game. That's why, like, I don't mind delayed attacks, like, once you learn the fight. But, like, when, when you've never done the fight before, they're the most frustrating thing. 
Like, I hear a lot of people complain about him, and that's, like, the, the only time I complain about him is when I don't know him. Once you know him, it's fine. I'm amazed I didn't get a stagger, though. Usually you do, like, two jump bar twos and you can stagger him. That's the starting goal. Three? Four? Maybe you only do that with the club? I don't know. I have no idea why he's not staggering. But he's staggered now, of course. That worked. Except he's gonna be in the wall, so... Actually, in the wall. Not even, like, jokingly in the wall. <laughs> Oh, wait, I didn't want to go here. Why did I? Yeah, whatever. As far as the farming goes, I actually don't think it's going to be that bad. Um, because... At least according to the wiki, you know, take that for what it's worth. It says there's a 4% chance from axe-wielding enemies that this thing drops. Oh, and another thing on, uh, specifically, like, on farming runs, I, I'm probably not going to do any farming until, like, later in the run. Like, because technically we could go do this farm... Pretty much as soon as we get the Dectus pieces, but like, I don't really want to. <laughs> Unless it's like a guaranteed drop, I'm I'm gonna wait till we're stronger. I wonder if there's, like, um, an omen uh, set or something. I'll have to look that up. That'd be fun. Also, I'm curious, too, like, with the the magic scaling, I don't know what bosses are going to be bad, what's going to be good. I think Renala is going to be bad. Well, I maybe not, actually. Renala is, like, done early enough like, in the all bosses part of this that I don't think she'll really be a problem. Something like Astol, though, I think is really going to be an issue. I know I said that on the last run, too, but... The magic damage coming from the family heads was really not that much compared to the physical, but like this is going to be like probably at least 50% magic damage I imagine on this axe, so, so we'll see. Picked up the golden seed, right? Okay. Get me out. Oh, 
I could level strength too because we need actually we only need 16 and we can two hand warp dax so we will need 24 though to dual wield So I might just do strength, uh, at least until 24. But like, I don't, I don't think this will be like a super bad run or anything. I think the axes will be pretty good. Farming them will be annoying, but again, I'm, I'm going to do most of that off stream and pray it doesn't take a long time. We got more than enough to do in the next three and a half hours to not have to do any farming. I'm just very curious to see what's going to be a problem with magic, to be honest. Like, I know that, like, I know fire. I know what, because I, I did two fire runs already. So I know what is very strong against fire, but I have no idea what's strong against magic. I imagine the magic dragons probably are going to be a little resistant to it, but maybe not. Like, fire giant, I, I have no idea if fire giant's resistant to fire, because I didn't really notice a difference in that fight. But like Moog and Reichhardt were insane, and the Magma Worms were insane. I'm waiting for the day where I get like Bleed or Frost. One day. Forgive me to determine if you had seen Torrent, whereas I know there is, but I can gathering very well at my hand. You know, now that I think about it, I should probably do Faroth before I do Limgrave Tunnels. Because I lose, like, 2k runes here. Or whatever it is, I don't know how many I have. But I lose whatever I got from the Stone Digger Troll. If I lose, like, because I'm probably going to die to that rat. One of the rats, if not something, at the very least, in, uh... Off. And then I gotta remember the smithing stones and the stone sword. There's, just, there's even after this, there's still a bunch of things to get that are good for this. Smithing stones sevens and a one eight stone sword key, a sacred tier, and a golden seed, and then end at the Celia Understair Grace, I think it is. Oh my God. Please don't kill me. No poison. You know, these things can fly, but apparently they can't actually go up. Which, for me, that's good, because otherwise I'd surely be dead. 
The hell was that fire? Oh, it's just out. It is a nightmare trying to make it out of this because of these stupid rats. Let me up. Go. No. Oh my god, I lived. Can't believe I lived. Still gotta get through this, though. Made it. We're free! Okay, then we'll get the sacred tier here. Now we get the nice red sky of Kaelid again instead of stormy dragon barrel. I'd love the Kaelid sky. It's like honestly the only nice thing about Kaelid. <laughs> Everything else just looks like death. What's this? Anything good? Staff of Laws. Um, please stop. Is he broken? All right, whatever. Oh my god, I... I it was open for like a split second and then he did he got closer to me and I couldn't hit the thing. That's unfortunate. There's a stake here though. Oh the stake is like oh it's at the beginning of the town. I just want my runes. It's not that far away. Okay, so we're done here. We'll be back later, and then we want to go... I guess Lyrity, right? That'd be next. I wonder if I'm going to get one shot by Lobster. I'm guessing yes.
So we'll be able to get plus nine after this run, and then... I don't know if you get enough runes to level to plus nine. Like, I, if I could find the... Oh, there, you know what there is? There's, a, like, a golden rune. I don't know what it is in Faroth that I could have picked up. It's, like, it's like a high number golden rune that would have helped. Should have grabbed it, but I, I always forget about it. I'll be able to get at least plus seven, though, and that's more than enough for Margit and Godric. But I think this axe that I'm using right now is probably what I'm going to use for, I'd say, the majority of this playthrough, at least until maybe, like, Fair Missoula. It, it really depends on how far we get today. Because I'll probably do farming off stream after like after this stream figure out which guys I can actually farm this item off of I think the ones in the abandoned coffin I can do and I'm just hoping it doesn't take too long Let's see, how many uh, seeds do we have? Tears. Okay. That's all of them. Plus, we get another one right here I forgot about. Like, now that I think about it, man, every single run, except for, like, one, is going to start out this way. Where it's just getting smithing stones. Like, any time you can get a somber weapon really, really quickly, that'll be, like, I think the only exception. And I mean something you don't have to farm or kill a boss for, basically. Something that's just, like, sitting on the ground. Like, Sword of Night and Flame, right? I could literally just go run and get that without having to kill anything. Something like that. That's, like, the only time I won't start this way, and instead I'll do, like, the somber route. Which I don't, I don't know what it is, but whatever it is, whatever it ends up being. I straight up just don't know where you get any somber stones. Well, I do, but like, I don't, again, have a route for it. Like, I know there's twos and threes in the Rhea Lucaria tunnel, but... Those might not be the most efficient. They probably aren't the most efficient. Honestly, the most efficient is probably just EG for one through four. But you also need like a bunch of runes to get those. Probably like 10k or something for all of them. Five, six, and seven you can get in the manor, but I don't I don't think I'm gonna do the manor seven. Because that jump just seems awful. If you don't know what I'm talking about, uh I don't know, there's like a there's a, a ledge that used to be super easy to jump to. It was like super unintended, but it used to be a lot easier to jump to in the manor, and then they patched it and made it a lot tougher. So basically like it's, it's almost kind of funny, like, what they did for, like, speedrunning and no-hit running, because they didn't make it impossible. If they made it impossible, you just have to go, like, another way to do it, right? Or, like, another... You'd have to get another stone, essentially. But they made it, like, possible enough to where it's still the fastest way to do it and just kind of, like, screwed over speedrunners and no-hit runners. Maybe not so much no-hit runners, but definitely speedrunners. Like, no, it sucks for no-hit runners, but it's not like you're... You know, being timed. But for speedrunners, they made it a lot worse. So actually, speedrunners, now that I think about it, don't even use the current patch. But if we get DLC, and the all-bosses route changes, then... Uh, yeah, that'll be a problem.
But yeah, I don't I don't want to do that because I just the idea of doing that jump and just failing it like for half an hour every single run, I don't think makes for any fun for anyone really. So plus six is good enough. And there's a seven you can get after uh Morgoth. Like you really don't even need it for Morgoth. If you know the fight. It takes longer, sure, but you know. You could use a plus zero weapon. And if you know the fight, you just you won't die. That's kind of like what I like about these games, though, is you could literally just do like a plus zero weapon the entire time and still win, still beat everything. It's harder, I think, in this game because there's a lot of DPS uh, bosses like Gargoyles and Godskin Duo, but, you know, technically you can do it. As long as you can just dodge hits. Might be a pain for some fights, but you can do it. Nine, that's good. I think I missed threes. Did I miss threes? No, I don't think I did. I know there's these ones, but I think um, I think we're good. I think you only come out of this with four and then you get the rest in the tunnel. If I had to guess, I'm going to say the Warped Axe has Wild Strikes, has the uh, Ash of War. Don't know for sure, but I feel like probably like 60 to 70% of these axes are going to have Wild Strikes. It seems like it's going to be the default for axes, unless you have like a special axe or something. Oof, my jaw just cracked. That hurt. Literally doing nothing. Oof. I don't know if that made it through the mic, but it hurt. <laughs> okay, where is the entrance? Over here? I think it's like... I don't know. I... I every single time I forget where it is. This way? Here? No? Maybe? Is it to my right? Is it to my left? I don't know. Never remember. Here it is. One tier. I should probably get rid of this blue flask. Also, I should put the physic on. Or, you know, uh, give my physic something. Which I always forget to do. How far into this run are we? Like half an hour? I'll check. Seven... Yeah, half an hour. I hate this platforming so much. Yeah, <laughs> you you have like no time to run before you have to jump, so then you just get jumps like that all the time.
It, it really, it. Ugh. I turned and it slowed me down. I did the the one eighty degree turn. Hello, I. Oh my god. I swear I jumped there. Uh, please. Thank God you don't die immediately after you miss it, though. Okay, I think I think that's it for jumping. I don't think there's anywhere else we have to actually jump in this tunnel. But of course, we could just flat out miss the stairs. That works too. <laughs> you can't make this up. I've done that in a while. I remember when I was learning this tunnel, I did that a lot. Because I forget that that stair, that little staircase isn't as wide as uh, you think it is. I mean, I think I missed a stone too, actually. Hang on. I did. What was that, like four quid outs? <laughs> that was pretty bad. This part sucks. Because these guys just have these, I don't even, even, whatever they break, sometimes it like shoots three projectiles and sometimes it's like 10. Please tell me the range on these isn't infinite. That doesn't matter. We're good. We're behind a wall. Ten and eight. Okay, I think we're good. Should be. We should be good. I can think of where you get everything else. This is a two. Then there's four threes and another two in the same room. After this one. And then it's just a Crystallion where we get the bell bearing for the ones for the warped axe. There's so many more stones here, though, that you could get. It's like another three stones. At least. Like three I can think of. But two of them are pretty unsafe. Um, I don't know where the other one is, though. I can't remember. I know there is one. Oh, I forgot the... Yeah, I'll go get the other three uh, smithing stone ones that I forgot about. Somehow I keep forgetting them. I did them in the last run, too. Insane damage. Oh, that attack is very delayed, and I'm gonna die. Imagine dying to a crystal. You know, I don't think backstabbing here actually does really anything. Was a backstab. Cool. Okay, 
Okay, let me go get the um three stones I missed. And then we'll go upgrade. And we'll do Margit Godric. I guess we could do Red Wolf Renala right after. I was thinking maybe I go get the other bell bearing, but like I I don't really need to. Oh, I have that already, duh. much as we can here. Plus nine? Yeah. Sweet. Okay. Margit, Godric, and then I guess we just do Red Wolf Renala. And then we'll go to the sealed tunnel. I'll probably infuse this thing with magic. I don't really care about the Ash of War on this weapon. Like this could be whatever. It's it's mainly for like the NG plus warped axes run. That's the that's where I want the default uh, Ash of War. Did I get another tier? I, I don't think I did. Yeah. Okay. Greedy. I tried to do a fully charged R2 there. Stagger? No stagger? Thank you. I could do wild strikes too on some of these. I keep forgetting about that. Tried to get an R1 in there because I knew he was going to jump away. Even after you let go of the button, you just do like another three swings. What? I can't believe you didn't die. We need 24 strength, and I'm probably not gonna go past that because the scaling, the strength scaling on the magic warped axe is like D. So we're probably just gonna go all in. Alright, I have 26 because of the scar seal. Your sword seal. All 
Alright, I'm not gonna level more strength then until later. I like I completely forgot about the sword seal. I know that ones behind me are. Uh, I knew they were coming, but that was like so delayed. Birds. Lovely, lovely birds. Ah, the recovery time. Very long. Where, where's my stagger, man? I missed him. I missed the flail. Wild Strikes is so good. Wait, I still have FP? Oh, man. I thought I was out for some reason. Music is so good in this fight. Never really looked around here. Well, it's kind of really nothing down there either. Did the, like the ground just give out here or what? How does that work? Just do that. Why not? I don't think I have to put the those runes anywhere else. I probably should have grabbed another grace, like instead of just this one. I forgot the one down here, but whatever. Oh, you know what? No, we're fine. We're gonna go here. I know what we can do. This is way faster. Even though I forgot to. Actually, no, it's fine. I think what I what I could have done was from the end of this tunnel, gone back up to the Ray of Lucaria gate, which I forgot to do, but it's fine.
I'm trying to brainstorm in my head, like, what other bosses are going to be annoying with magic weapons. And I'm just thinking back to the sorcery playthrough, like, what really sucked as a sorcerer? I remember Renala did, but, like, I also did that in NG, which, of course, she's going to be bad. If you do her, like, on a normal level in NG, she's going to be awful. So in NG+, plus, at, like, the end of the run when I normally do her, I don't know how bad she's going to be. Astel is going to be pretty not fun, I think. But, like, other than those two, I, I don't know, man. I don't know what else would suck. Didn't need to rest. Oh, well. So, the whetstone we need is here somewhere. I don't know where it is, but it's here. I think I, I, I know roughly where it is. I shouldn't say I don't know where it is. I know kind of where it is. It's like in the courtyard up uh, above all this, like after Red Wolf. What? Oh, that's bad. Are you serious? What? I got, like, triangle attacked. One dog on each of the corners. Oh, that's annoying. I can't believe that guy grabbed me, though. Like, it, it looked... It looked like he wasn't gonna reach me, and then he, like, teleported to me. That was, like, the worst spot for it. I think I gotta turn some AC on. I'm starting to sweat. Let me get through this section and then uh, we'll do that. I'm gonna get this grace in case I get munched on again. Oh, well, this is promising. Yo, hey, you only get one grab per, like, ten seconds. Stop stop being greedy, man. Only one grab attempt. Not back-to-back. -back. What? What did I even get grabbed by? I think it was a guy on the left there who, like, just didn't turn and face me at all this time. Oh, there is a smithing stone 5 down at the bottom here, but I don't really want to get that. Let me get this grace, and then I'm going to go run and turn my AC on. I'll be back in, like, 
10 seconds ish Got around now is like it's supposed to get I think near 80 actually I want to see oops let's see eighty three yeah that's too hot early and I didn't think I'd get out of range of that. Can you? I think you can stagger this guy, right? Guy, this wolf. Look at that. Ah, uh, that's... That's not right, game. You're supposed to do a repost. Like, what? What hell? Oh, I so badly want to just, like, get greedy, but I won't. I would have if he wasn't doing magic attacks. And probably would have died, to be honest, but... Better safe than sorry, I guess. Um, okay, so, again, we're going to hold off on strength. I am not gonna make this int until after Renala. <laughs> Honestly, there's no point in even making it int yet until we actually have some intelligence. Okay, so the... Th it's around here somewhere, whatever this uh, whetstone is. I just... I don't know where. I don't think it's this. But I'm pretty sure it's around here. It might be up there. No, probably not this. Oh my god, stop. Stop. In here, maybe? This is all I remember from Ray of Lucaria from my first time playing, is just like the magic spamming. Endless magic spamming. Grab that. Two stone sword keys here. That's pretty sick. There's probably more, too. I know the imbued ones here, but... You know, that's completely different. I don't think it's out here. I It's got to be... I think it's up somewhere. It's like up those stairs or something. I know it's around here, though. Well, I don't know that, but I think it's around here. Um, Let's see up here. What's this guy doing? I don't think it's that way. That is not a person. These guys are so annoying. Yeah, that, that was the only way that was gonna end. I still have this open? I don't, that sucks. Okay. I'm guessing it might, might be in that room, but I don't know for sure. How many seeds do we have? Two. How many flasks do I have? 
I think I can get another flask. Man, this part sucks. I hate these mages so much. Right, let's see if it's in here. Here. There we go. Like, that shortcut is not a shortcut, man. It might be a shorter distance than walking all the way up here, but it is a harder run than this boulder. I got parried because I didn't get the repost. How did I not get the repost? Oh. I guess I wasn't close enough to him. I just wanted to, like, knock him down so I could run by him, but I, I can't not believe I didn't get a repost there. Stop swinging! Oh my god! What is this? How long is that combo? This is the worst situation when the elevator is actually like up and not. <laughs> uh, I really should just save and quit on this guy. But I also it's kind of nice to make sure he's dead. I gotta, I gotta, like, figure out a consistent way of dealing with him, though. If you get him to parry you when you're on the edge of the elevator, like, that usually works. But you have to time it right with the elevator going up. It's kind of tough. <laughs> 